wanted to make a little video on how to turn your uh, torch for your hypertherm. This is a Duramax lock, um, 15 degree angle one. So what you do is you take off the housing here. These are on here. Um, there's four bolts on this side. Right here, you need a one of these bad boys to get her off. Once you get it off, um, here's all the wires. I've already done mine. I'm just gonna walk you through it. This is the uh, the purple wire. Wire was originally between these two in port six. We pull it out of port six in the middle of there and plug it over here. So, and the way you do that is with the tool, this uh, pin extractor. This one's a Jonard. I think there's three different sizes. This one's a number 16, I believe. But anyways, if you go on Langmuir forum, there's a guy who did some detailed pictures and gives you the where to get this on Amazon. Uh, again, that's a Langmuir forum. You can search for this, you'll find it. So this thing, it's kind of flimsy, but uh, what you do is you hold this up and you see the pins in there. You slide this housing over the pin like that. You just put it on and you push it in as far as you can. It fits kind of snug. You can try it in an empty hole to feel how snug it is because if it's your first time doing it, this thing's kind of rinky dinky. You're kind of worried about breaking something. Stick it in one of these empty holes to feel how snug it is and you'll feel when it stops and you're all the way in. So you'll put it on that number six one as far as you can go and, and the plunger will be back like this. Keep it nice and straight and steady and uh, push down on the plunger. It takes a lot of force. It kind of scared me because I thought, man, I'm gonna break this little piece of junk, but it, it did work and it, it did take a quite a push and it'll pop out the back side and then you can just pull it out and then you insert it in the other side and you don't need any special tools to insert it. I just put it in, just kind of kept on pushing in and it, it clicks in and you'll see it click in and you'll uh, see it uh, in there all the way and then just reinstall these and you have a machine torch after that. And uh, after you do that, you need to flip the switch up, the safety switch, press the trigger down with the switch, switch up and then get a zip tie and hold it just like that. And after you get the zip tie and do the wiring, um, you now have a mach machine torch, turn your hand torch into machine torch. And the reason you want to do that is uh, for me specifically, I want to use a, I have a CPC port on the back of my, uh, my, uh, <clears throat> my cutter. And I want to use that instead of splicing into wires. And I know you got to do this, but that's, uh, it's not, it's not hard to do. But I didn't want to have to splice into anything, so I have a wiring kit that plugs into the the uh, CPC port, so I can run my uh, CNC table off of it. So, anyways, that's how you do it.